So I had a lesson today with a fellow club pro and friend of mine, Alex Gogger, and he's been battling a, an issue in his golf swing over the last few years. And what happens in his swing is as he comes down, his legs are straightening up too soon. So as he starts down, his legs are straightening up, which kind of stalls his rotation out. And because his rotation stalls, the club flips over. And he figured out a, a matchup for how to play with that. And what he did, his matchup was to have the face a little open so that as he starts down and everything stalls out, there can be a lot of chase in that. Now, in the last six months, Alex has been hired to be a professional caddy on the European tour. And he's had a chance to watch some of the best players in the world and how they do it. And he decided that what he's doing is not going to be what, what takes him to the next level. So we need to find a way to make the change to make his swing function more like the best players. And so what we needed to do, first off, is we, we needed to get the club face in a stronger position in transition. Okay? Now, if that's all we did, if we got the club face in a stronger position and he kept doing his his stall chase move, he's going to hit a lot of pull hooks, which he was. So then we had to add an additional piece to the puzzle. And what we added to make his swing better was a little bit of reflexing of the legs in transition. So if he could reflex in transition, now as he continues down, he can keep turning into the ball. If your legs start to straighten out in transition, you're done and you can't turn anymore, so the club's going to swing on path, which is what was happening to Alex. So take a look at some of the before and afters, and you'll see that he made some awesome progress. Good. Oh, I love that one. Yeah, I feel like I almost got to set up like this. Don't, don't. Set up normal, swing it up and stop. Now in transition, you just have to let that, that go that way. That feels, that's the worst feeling for me in I the know, world. it's backwards to you. Yeah. Because that wouldn't have worked before with what you were doing. That would have been the worst shot you ever hit in your life. Yeah. But that will be the right shot now. <laughs> to let the thing drop behind me, Milo, feels like shit. I know. That's what it's doing, right? Yeah. Well, let's see if you can get all the way down where you feel like that. It had to be pretty close. Like you never come up. You're just going down, 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 all the way around. See, that's sweet. That did feel good. I want to see that rehearsed deal again. Break it into a couple pieces. Good. Here's a really fun before and after. On the left, we have his first swing of the day. 
And on the right, we have the last swing he made during the lesson. Now you can see the big differences in the structure of his, his wrist at the top and the face conditions. So there you can really see the, the difference in the look of the transition. No pulling down. It's much more of a pivot. The face is much more neutral in the after swing where in the before swing it's a little open he's gonna have to stall and flip and you can really see that here as he goes through the golf ball the difference in the release pattern you can see how the handles really flipped over in the after swing the handle hasn't flipped over and his hands are gonna be disappearing from the screen before the club head does in the before swing you can see the club heads gone first 